Let's consider the pressure trends in a Venturi meter using the mechanical energy balance equation. The mechanical energy balance gives the relationship between kinetic energy, flow work, or pressure divided by density, and frictional losses between two points in a system, such as the losses between points 1 and 5. For systems with pumps or turbines, additional terms can be added to the energy balance, but since these are not present between the Venturi meter inlet and outlet, we will ignore these terms. The mechanical energy balance is generally written in terms of energy per unit mass, or in terms of pressure, velocity, and liquid heads, as shown below. Remember that both forms of mechanical energy equation contain terms representing flow work, potential energy, kinetic energy, and frictional losses. Let's apply the mechanical energy balance between the inlet and the throat of the Venturi meter. Between these points, the frictional loss is negligible compared to other energy changes, so we can remove the frictional loss or frictional head term from the equation. We can also remove the potential energy or gravity head since we have no changes in height. We know from the continuity equation that velocity at the entrance of the Venturi must be much lower than that at the throat because of the decrease in cross-sectional area. If we rearrange the simplified energy balance, we can see that the pressure at the inlet must be much higher than the pressure at the throat. This is also confirmed by the manometer heights in the Venturi. Next, let's apply the energy balance between the inlet and outlet of the Venturi meter. The diameter at these two points is equal. Therefore, due to mass conservation, we know that the velocity must also be equal. Again, we have no change in height, which removes the potential energy terms. Because the fluid travels through a longer distance, frictional losses are more substantial, especially as eddies are generated and energy is dissipated along the inner surface of the long diverging section. Thus, the frictional loss term must be maintained in the equation. If we rearrange the simplified energy balance, we can see that the pressure at the inlet will be higher than that at the outlet since head loss, which indicates the substantial frictional and energy losses, is always positive. The manometer heights in the Venturi also indicate the pressure is highest at the inlet. In summary, the pressure decreases until the throat of the Venturi meter as the cross-sectional area decreases and the velocity increases. Then, pressure increases towards the outlet as the diameter increases, but pressure does not fully recover due to frictional and energy dissipation losses.